My name is Walter Unglob and this is how many moles are represented in 50 grams of magnesium. So to calculate this, we need to use some fundamental constants here. The conversion between AMU, which is atomic mass unit, and kilograms, and the mass in AMU of one atom of magnesium. In this case, it is 24.305 AMU. So to calculate the kilogram equivalent of the mass for one atom of magnesium, we have 24.305 AMU, and we multiply that with 1.66 times 10 to the negative 27 kilograms per AMU. So we have the AMU units cancel out, and we get approximately 4.035 times 10 to the negative 26 kilograms. So, given 50 grams of magnesium, we can ask how many magnesium atoms exist in that sample. So to calculate that, if we know that this is the mass per atom, then we simply start with 50 grams, which is equal to 0 0.05 kilograms, and we divide that mass by the mass of one atom, which is 4.035 times 10 to the negative 26 kilograms per atom. The units of kilogram cancels out, and we get approximately 1.24 times 10 to the 24 atoms. So there's just one last step, which is to convert this total number of atoms and represent it in units of moles. For that, we need to go and use Avogadro's number, which is approximately equal to 6.022 times 10 to the 23 particles per mole. In this case, we're using atoms to substitute particles. So, we just take the total number of atoms in our 50 gram sample and we divide by Avogadro's number. So we take this number and divide that by 6.022 times 10 to the 23 atoms per mole. And finally, we are left with approximately 2.06 moles. And this is how many moles are represented by the 50 grams of magnesium that we started with. My name is Walter Unglob, and this is how many moles are represented in 50 grams of magnesium. Thank you.